DSL. What is that DSL? That is your digital subscriber line. So now this access network, how it is going to provide the digital subscriber line that is nothing but your DSL. Let's see, this is my home network where I have been connected with my system and also with my DSL modem and also with one splitter. Always you remember the splitter will be connected to the device which device will not connect can will not directly connect with your modem. Always the device has to connect to your modem through your splitter. That can be your TV, that can be your uh, telephone, that can be anything, but not mobile because mobile phone is having the uh, like a component which can access directly to the uh, like a routers, all the Wi-Fi connections and all. But if you want to be wired connection, you can give the wired connection directly from your laptop to the modems, but not to the directly to the telephones. So now how it is going to work out <clears throat> for the TV, we have connected with our cable headed, but for our telephones, we have to connect with our central office where the telephone network will be present. And here you can see how the signals is going to be take out. This is known as your DSL access multiplexer. <clears throat> so here, what is the work of this? It is going to access, this one will be connected with your telephone network directly. So how you are going to connect from your splitter to DSLM, how it is going to work out? The voice, because the voice modulations will be there. The voice modulations will be there in your uh, telephone. So how you are going to work out with that? Whenever the splitter wired line will get connected with your DSLM, that time, the voice or the data will transmit in a different, different frequencies over your central office line. So here, whenever one person will start talking, that voice is going to transmit it through, uh, that voice can be a variety of frequencies because when we are talking, the pitch will not be same. So it will accept the different, different frequencies modulations. So that values is going to transmit over this dedicated line and it is going to pass to your central office. Can you see this round one? This is your central office and this central office is directly connected to your telephone network. Remember one thing, wherever we have given the connections, the straight lines, that is your wired lines. If there will be any uh, dotted lines, it doesn't mean that the connections are proper, okay? So we have to give the straight line connections from your central office to the telephone network. And also, if you want to connect with your routers, then you have to give the connections from your DSLM to your all the router routers here. And as I told you before, this all the router has been connected, interconnected with your global ISPs. So now, as you can see the points, I have written here three points use existing telephone line to the central office of DSLM. I told you directly you cannot connect to anyone. You have to go through your splitter. Then the splitter wired line has to connect with your central office. <clears throat> what is the next one? What all are the things we are getting from here? The data over this DSL phone line goes to the internet. From here, you are going to send it to the splitter. Splitter from that, it is going to connect with your DSLM. And directly, as you can see here, it is connected with your routers. So the data, if you are sending from any of the digital device or telephone lines, it is going to connect directly to your routers or internet devices, internets, networks. <clears throat> and one more thing is two things will be there. One is voice, one is data. So the data is going to transmit in this way. How the voice is going to transmit? The voice also can be transmit through your DSL. This is access multiplexer through this and it goes directly to the telephone network. Here you can see the telephone network. So the data values will go to your ISP global network, which is internet global network and the voice will go directly to your telephone network. So this is all about your access network under your <clears throat> digital subscriber line. Now what will be the transmission rate? So the downstream transmission rate will be 24 to 52 Mbps because it doesn't need more 
uh, transmission rate to uh, like uh, to send to down for the downstream and for the upstream transmission rate it takes only 3.5 to 16 mbps <clears throat> now you can see the next one as your home network so you can see in our home network all these devices has been connected what all other things are there the first thing you can see as routers this is your modems or this is your modems and here what we are going to get uh, see here this is the connections of your head end or central office you are going to connect from here to there so the cable will be there this is your dsl modem and what about this this is your router or you can say firewall or you can say net now what is the next one this is your wired ethernet which is having the downstream transmission rate is up to 1 gbps so you can see it has been connected with the router directly now what is this this is your wifi wireless access network which can be connected wirelessly with other devices and the uh, downstream rate will be 54 to 450 mbps of transmission rate and it can directly connect with your router now what about all these three things the modem the router and the uh, like this is a cable or wifi all these three things what is uh, it will be in your uh, like normally it used to nowadays all these three things are coming into a single box if you will buy the single box all these things automatically it, it can connect so what all are the things the first thing will be your wifi access point second thing is your router third will be your modem so these three things nowadays it is combined it is coming into a single box so now what all are these things this is known as your wireless devices this mobile phone and the laptop can be your wired also can be your 